Frank Warren, how are you, sir? I'm hanging in there. What about you? Very good. Now, um, we'll start at the beginning. Um, there was a show in Belfast at the weekend where little Dennis the Menace got himself on telly again. Not for very long, though, he hasn't to add. No, listen, I, I, I should have done a deal with him where I pay him by the time he spends in the ring. But, um, unfortunately, no. He's, uh, he, 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 one thing about him, you know he can punch. His last, his last 17 amateur fights, he knocks out 17. He's a phenomenal little puncher. Um, it's a very early in his career, but he's an exciting exciting big hitter you've seen him come and go over the years frank but this is one but you just get that feeling but he's got something about him yeah i mean he's got he definitely has something there and he sort of excites me and i think that um i'm hoping or i'm hoping or i'm thinking i'm hoping over the next uh, next two years couple of years he's going to get himself into a position where he'll be fighting for a title fairly soon there's no doubt about it he's he's, he's another one of those young men who can Want to say, you know, one of them rare young men who can take a, a fighter out of either hand and like all these things about learning his trade the thing is with big punches they catch someone they go um, they're not getting the rounds under their belts but he's not a bad little mover as well he's got a good eye he's, he's, he's you know and he's as i say dennis the Menace, cheeky little chappy and uh, he does what he has to do in the ring and does it in style there was also a british welterweight title on the bill involving one of our number in chris jenkins now he won that he obviously won it against Johnny Garton. He added the Commonwealth title to it, but then once again he's got himself cut. Yeah. So I suppose he's going to be out of the game for a little while. Yeah, he'll be out for a while. I mean, it's a shame when fights end on cuts and so forth, but it is what it is. Uh, and as you say, he's, he'll, take, he'll probably be out for another five, five months at least, maybe six months, White Hills. It's a real shame, but it brings us to today. Royal Albert Hall, Friday the 27th of September. Dynamite Daniel Dubois. Now I looked at him earlier on. I said, "We're well, going to have to start calling him Dapper Daniel." I think. I'd say well, he looks the part today, doesn't he? Oh. He does look the part. It's like uh, it looks like he's going uh, auditioning for a Hollywood film role. He looks really does look good. Um, yeah, he's in there. He's fighting for the vacant Commonwealth title. He's fighting Ebenezer Tete, who, by the way, has to fight next Saturday. He's got a fight which was already planned, but the Commonwealth Committee have approved the fight, subject to him winning that fight for their title. Um, so I'm pleased for that. It's you know it's uh, Daniel and he's 12. I think it's his. Tw- he should be his 13th. 13th fight, going to his 13th fight, um, and uh, yet yeah, fighting for a, another prestigious title. Now you'll know this, Frank, but you know, I make it seven titles in 13 fights, and obviously Joe Joyce let go of this one, which enables him to slot nicely into it. But I mean that's an incredible ratio of. Uh, titles to professional fights well he's got to win it first but if he does win it that's that is there's no doubt about that it's, no one can say that we're not letting him uh, you know we're not sort of stepping him up each time he is fighting in these type in these uh, in these type of contests you know the Albert Hall I think is going to be his home for a while and try and do as many shows as we can there then but obviously he's got to come through this guy um, who's uh, who's you know who's a tough cookie if he's anything like Larty you know you're going to have a bit of fun it's going to be like it's going to be a bang up I was just going to say that. I mean, it's, it's another Garnet, and he's 19 and 0, 16 KOs. I mean, Larty was an absolute loon. And like I say, if we if we get anything like that again, it's the entertainment's going to be there. Isn't it? One thing for sure, that's what we're going to get. But he's very confident at the moment, um, Daniel. He's still learning his his craft and his trade, as you say. It's his 13th fight, and I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to the 27th. I think it's going to be an exceptional night. Do you know it's a little difference in Daniel? He just, you know, he just seems after that fight, the British title, he sort of got a little bit more aura about him, a little bit more confidence. He's, I think he's, I think he's got the confidence. I think he's very, not shy, but like he's an introverted guy, and I think he's one of those. He, you know, he's, I think he's, uh, his mo is I'll do my talking in the ring, which is what he's done up to now. But he's, uh, no, he's, 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 he's enjoying it, and I think he's, he's grown into, into the role, and uh, there's no doubt about it. He's an exceptional young athlete, he's an exceptional young fighter and I think he's probably the best young heavyweight on the planet. Now then, um, I've just chastised Nicola Adams for messing up your carefully orchestrated plan to have a fight on International Women's Day and getting injured and missing the last show at the Albert Hall. All the planning you put into that, an injury scuppers it, Frank. It did, but here we are, she's on now, so she's now the, now the full WBO champion, so she'll be on there fighting the hopefully fighting the winner of the IBF title in a unification match. If that doesn't happen, if the, t- if the two girls are fighting for it, if the winner uh, for any reason can't come through, she'll just defend her WBO title. We're looking for a unification match, but she will be on there, and it's better late than never. 
I suppose the thing, the only thing that scuppers that is, is cuts or injuries, I guess, isn't it? Well, that's it. So what you can do is it, it, we'll, we'll soon find out a couple of weeks of time. But whatever happens, she'll be defending. She'll be fighting for the WBO title. But I hope it'll be for a unification match. She's admitted herself, but she probably won't feel like a genuine world champion until she's actually carried out a slaying in the ring. You've got to kind of agree with her like that, haven't you? Well, in some ways you do, but it's been a lot of fighters, big-name fighters over the years who've become interim champions. And basically, see, I think, I think the interim thing is a, is, is, is a good thing. You know, if you've got a champion who's injured and you can't fight for any reason, why should it hold everything up? So you let next, the next guy fight, you know, the next one, then fight the number two, and then that, they're ready then to fight the champion. If the champion's still not ready, then let's move on and the next person steps in as being the, cha- being the champion. And when the, champ- the former champion's ready to fight again, you can get, you know, you get that fight together. But um, look, at the end of the day, she's one way or another, she's going into the ring as a champion, as a world champion. Whether she comes out is going to be the interesting thing. Once she comes out with the title. On this show, Frank, I mean, I think... I'm right in saying um, Archie Sharp potentially featuring. Is that right? Is there any other names you can throw in the hat? Archie's on, and we've got a few other youngsters, that were, that, you know, a few of our other young guys, our London based fighters or southern based fighters. So it should be a, a very, very entertaining night. And if it's half as good as the last one, everybody will be delighted. Now, Friday night, London, Royal Albert Hall, place to be, 27th of September. Can't beat that. Um, just move on, move you on again, Frank, to this weekend. Carl Frampton fighting a guy called Dominguez in Philadelphia. That featherweight landscape does seem to be shifting a bit at the moment. It's not as straightforward as everyone sort of first imagined. Well, it's not. You know, Valdez now has got said over the weekend he's going up, so that's that title's vacant. So number one and two are fight. It'll be interesting to see what develops over the next week. But you know, Carl obviously he's been out the ring for a while for various reasons and. Uh, he needs to get back in the swing, and next week in Philadelphia, that's what he'll do. He'll get back into it. Um, talking of that landscape, you you talk about the established champions, Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell, Valdez, as you say, has already moved on. You kind of think the other two are probably going to do similar, aren't they? Well, that may happen. You know, that may happen. In the meantime, um, you know, like, like all these things, it's, it's just a matter of time. It'll all happen. We're trying to make a uni- we were trying to make a unification for Josh Warrington. Uh, which would prove very difficult. Now we know why, because obviously Valdez was struggling to make the weight. Santa Cruz doesn't want to know, so we've got to see how it all pans out. But one thing's for sure, you know, where it's the weight above or the weight or the featherweight division, super featherweight division, there are some exciting fights there to be made with all these guys. I was actually my thinking was, but it it opens up and makes it more interesting. It actually increases the opportunities if these guys do move on because they haven't been the most active. No, that's exactly right. So now let's hope that's going to be the case and we're going to see some great fights. And our man, October the 12th, keeping active. He's going to keep active. He's had three tough fights. You know, when you think Selby, Frampton and Galahad, he's mandatory. Done everything's been asked of him. So, uh, you know, there's no shirking with him. He's back out again. He's busy and he wants to keep busy and he obviously he's on he's on the hunt for more titles and we're up in Leeds on Wednesday with the man so we'll catch up with you again there Frank thank you very much